X thinks we're friends, I think he assaulted me. Do I tell him? I, 24F, was in an LDR with him, 24M, for two years. When we broke up one year ago it was amicable. However, with some space, I've realized that he didn't treat me well, he, more than once, coerced me into having sex and or refused to stop when I told him to. He also refused to use protection and spanked me when I had explicitly told him I didn't like it. There were other minor non-sexual things, like he was cocky, insensitive, and we generally didn't get along. Now in a healthy and loving relationship and finally realizing how fucked up my relationship with my ex was. My ex has messaged me a couple of times in the last few months, only meaning to be friends, and I've just found ways to ignore him. This just puts me on edge because I feel bad for ghosting him. There are two problems I'm having RN. One, I feel like I need to confront my ex and tell him that he assaulted me, but I'm terrified of getting into an argument with him, or that my memory of events is distorted and it wasn't actually assault. Two, I feel bad because I wasn't a good partner either I was needy and quick to anger, so it feels like I have no right to hold anything against him. I have no idea what to do. Do. I just want to stop feeling bad. Too long didn't read, I'm pretty sure my ex assaulted me. Do I confront him now, over a year after the breakup, or find another way to get closure? Confrontations with exes rarely go well, it's hard finding common ground at best of times, in this situation it sounds almost impossible. What you might achieve is him not contacting you again, which sounds like a win and there's a slim chance he'll hear something that will stay with him and turn him into a better person later. You need to decide whether you have the emotional stability to deal with that conversation, and whether those possible benefits are worth the emotional cost. Nobody else can do that for you, only you know what you can handle and what the stakes are. Good luck, and time heals, once you've changed your situation which you have. It doesn't sound like anything positive would come from confronting him, why not just block him and move on? Or you could send a very brief note, our relationship wasn't healthy for me, so I'd rather not be friends. I've moved on to better things and I hope you do too. Good luck. But don't waste more time on this guy. 1. Your ex totally assaulted you. He didn't respect your boundaries and continues to disrespect you by not leaving you alone after you've split up. 2. He didn't treat you well. You have every right to feel angry about that. This guy sounds like a manipulative asshole. You don't owe him anything. You should not feel bad about not wanting to interact with someone who makes you feel on edge or uncomfortable. The reason you don't want to talk to him is because he treated you badly, so that's on him. Sounds like it might help Help to talk with a counselor about how you are feeling so they can help you process things. Your ex probably won't accept he did anything wrong anyway, so you might find that talking about it with a professional in a safe space, where you can be open about your feelings, is far more helpful, and much safer too, and means you can get closure. I would not confront him without backup. I'd wait until you have a therapist or advocate who can walk you through what the potential consequences would be, worst case scenarios, various responses, and your possible emotional reactions. You really need someone to navigate this with you as it is an emotional minefield. I suggest just blocking him on everything. But if you're uncomfortable with leaving with no explanation, tell him that you don't want to be friends and then block him. I, 22F, started sleeping with my friend and her boyfriend, 28F31M, and I'm confused with my feelings. I always have been curious to be with a girl. I've always known I'm into men even if I never had sex with one man. And I'm sure I wouldn't date a girl. But I've always been curious to sleep with a girl. So then I've met this fellow Arab girl who is also into girls. We became friends and after a few weeks we started having sex. I loved it. It made me even question if I wanted a man. I told her that. She told me she has a 
partner and I knew that. She told me that they sometime have threesomes with other girls. And she can sleep with other girls no problem as long she's honest. She asked me if I wanted to try and have sex with a man. And that man would be her boyfriend. I said yes. We introduced each other and then we started sleeping together. Long story short, I'm not sure how I'm feeling. I don't know if I'm in love with her, with him or with both of them. Every time I am craving being with them. At this point I don't even want to have sex with them. I just want to sleep in their bed and watch movies and have dinner together. I don't know if this thing I'm feeling is love or what. Try to think of them individually and I'm not sure if I'm in love with him. I love her as a friend. I'm sure of that. She is a very close friend for me. But I'm not sure how I feel about her boyfriend. What should I do? I feel like I should stop. But then maybe if I have fun I should keep having sex with them and see if I can clear my head. Do you think there's an outcome of me not leaving this situation and clearing my feelings? This is confusing me a lot. But I'm not having a hard time yet processing this feelings. It's all so new. What should I do? I'm a very emotional and sensitive person and even if I feel like I have things under control I'm afraid of how things could go. I feel like I need to distance myself of this feelings because they are in a stable relationship and probably don't want drama. Too long didn't read, I started sleeping with my friend and her boyfriend and I think I'm in love with them or one of them. How do I stop getting so confused over this? Maybe you are ready to find your own romantic partner. It's starting to sound like you are looking at them like your family unit, which could hurt a lot if they get ready to switch playmates. The age difference is also a fairly big one when you are in your early 20s. Sounds like you should maybe talk with them about the dynamic. Are they open, sex only, or poly? Can have relationships with others. If they're poly, can each have separate partners or do they prefer to share romantic partners? How do you feel about dating someone with a primary partner? How about being part of a triad romantically? I see this was posted 11 hours ago. So my reply will probably get buried, or never seen. Your crush isn't going away and it may blossom into something more over time. You are infatuated with the couple and the situation which is totally fine. Just make sure you are taking care of your own feelings. Now for story time. I met a wonderful man and married him 16 years ago. He had lots of outside flirtations and even discussed threesome and such. After about 8 years we did open up the relationship and things went very smoothly. All during this time we played video games online with friends and one friend in particular for most of this time. I knew I had feelings for this person but living across the country there was just no way and he seemed to for me also but thought I was taken. Our adventures were our private life so we didn't talk about it often. Five years ago it came up. We had known him about 7 years at that time, he and I talked more and he offered to fly my to visit. Hubby and I agreed. I can't even describe how it all went it just felt right and it worked. Then a year he had sold his house and moved in with us. We have lived together as a trio for 4 years. We can't imagine life any different. They hang out and watch movies in bed while I am busy with hobbies or friends. We all still game together and apart. We share chores and bills and even co-parent. Explore your feelings, explore the possibilities. You could be the unicorn. Make sure you have open honest talks with them. Bisexuality. Hum. How does that sound to you? Does it resonate? Because you don't have to figure out your sexuality or whether you like men or women. You clearly stated you like both. Might like one more than the other. You might envision yourself with one more than the other. Still bisexual. Welcome to the club. And you've caught feelings for her, or both of them. Yep, it happens. No additional drama needed except for the realization. The only way forward is to admit to yourself what you want, sleep in their bed, cuddle, etc., talk to them and see how they feel too. They might be non-monogamous, but not polyamorous. Meaning, they might be okay with sleeping with other women, but not with having another girlfriend. Or there might be space for you too there. You won't know until you ask. It's a win-win situation for you though. If they don't want to extend the arrangement in a way that suits you, they'll free you up so you can find someone else, or another couple, that actively wants you to be their girlfriend. If they reciprocate your feelings then you get what you want with them. I'm not saying this would be easy, especially if you feel rejected by them, but I'm saying you'd be better off knowing than not knowing. 
You can't keep sleeping with them and have your crush go away. You're in a non-monogamous arrangement right now with these two people. It happens sometimes that you catch feelings. It's normal and it doesn't have to be drama. Maybe these feelings are not returned. Maybe they are. Maybe there is space within the relationship for these feelings. Maybe there is not. You won't find out unless you're honest about it. Talk to them. I, 16 meters, feel like I should warn my friend, 18 meters, to be more safe while driving. Sometimes I feel like I worry too much. It's just that I care so much about my friend. Two years ago he got into a near fatal car accident which I believe he mentioned was due to him being high, although he hasn't really said many other details about it. Last night, he posted a video of himself driving and had the caption please don't use your phone while you're driving I don't know if that was meant to be sarcastic, but I don't understand why he's doing such a dangerous activity. He's also texted me while he's been driving in the past, and this is very alarming to me. He always warns me not to text and drive, but he really doesn't live by what he says. Too long didn't read, my best friend texts while driving, despite telling me not to do so. This hypocrisy and carelessness is bothering me. Yay never drive with him ever ever. Hey, firstly good on you for caring, and for trying to save your friend from the consequences his recklessness. Young adult brains have a problem accurately assessing risk which makes it very hard to reason them into changing their risky behavior. Traditionally adults and society protect themselves from this by curtailing the freedoms of young adults to protect the rest of society. You have a primary concern, your safety. So you need to be adult enough to stop riding with this clown, and encourage your friendship circle to do likewise. Beyond that, you can try to reason with your friend, I would not be optimistic, you could try and lay out the emotional costs of his actions to him, you can try begging him, but you should prepare yourself to cut this man adrift. He has been given responsibility for other people's lives, and he is blowing it. Good luck. Yes, call him out and ask him WTF he's thinking. Good friends don't just nod along when the people they care about make dangerous mistakes. He's already been told to drive more safely, the entire driver education course and test is centered around driving safely. You cannot protect him from the consequences of his own stupid choices. Unfortunately, when there's a car involved, he's not the only one who is likely to be hurt as a consequence of his own stupid choices. But there's nothing you can do about that, either, except, as you've said, never placing yourself in the position of relying on him for your own safety. I've literally made a guy stop and I got out of his car in the middle of town because I didn't feel safe with him driving. You aren't the bad guy for wanting to make sure he's safe. Call him out on it if you want. Save a life or two.